All right, so here we go. Five Nights at Candy's remastered speedrun begins now. He needs some milk. Shut up. Don't hurt Senko the Fox. Senko the Fox? Fourth time is a charm. I'm going to keep a better eye on the clock this time. And when you need something to drink, but you don't want to leave. Did you get a time yet, Yao? Sweaty. Easy on the spam. Will you subscribe now on Prime to Grib and don't count on it? Fuck you, Nightbot. What's up, Sweaty? Quackity! <laughs> Exclamation point Y. I thought I heard someone walking. Lotto numbers for today? Three came in there twice? Someone made a grandma's puss joke today. You were not laughing. Oh. Jackbox games intensifies. Now I know I'm on the right track because whenever Nightbot says that I don't, I know, yo. It's great. Playing Five Nights at Candies, too. Oh. 16 subscribers. Hey, now. All we need is nine more and we get a new emote slot. Nine more subscribers. Hey, now. New emote slot incoming, hopefully. I think they all have to be consecutively in the month, though. We can hope. We can hope. I have so many emotes. I have so many emotes to put up on the channel. Absolutely, Doctor! Exclamation point YouTube. And I'll be having at least two videos coming out this week. Maybe three. Definitely two, though. I'm getting a lot of people requesting a lot of help wanted uh, tips. So I'm definitely posting one of those this week. And then we're going to be repo uh, we're going to be posting a speed run uh, this weekend. One of the successful speed runs. Redeemed to hydrate. Hey, now. Thank you. <laughs> Mad Pat. I don't have a Mad Pat command. Oh, Creepa. That's a good idea. No, not the Joy of Creation run. Uh, it'll be Five Nights at Freddy's 2 three-star run. Yes. Yes, yeah, we got it. We got the Joy of Creation speed run. Uh, not yesterday, the day before. And the video is almost done uh, rendering and whatnot. So yes, we did get the uh, the Joy of Creation speed run. 
It's all fun and games until Grib streams with Jay Schlatt. Who's Jay Schlatt? I feel like that's a name I should know. I don't have Minecraft emotes, but I got a ton of pumpkin emotes. I got hearts for eyes. I got a raid. I've got a six uh, keep social distance one. I've actually, uh, I'm sorry to say this, doctor. I've never played Half-Life. A crackhead streamer. Oh, look him up. Is he a crackhead streamer or a cracked streamer? Oh, a night, yo, for sure. At least on night one, like, they're, they're okay. Look at my desk. All right, I'm looking at my desk. What am I looking at? Oh. Heard that. It both. It went away. What, what, what did I have? Did I have another Easter egg? I keep getting the supposed Easter egg. And I keep missing it. No, you have to look in Blank's room for the Markiplier Easter egg. You have to click on something. I think you have to click on for Daco and uh, Markiplier. I think they're both in uh, uh, Doodle's room. Gribbon Afton. All right, so we're coming up on the end of the night here. Monk. Rock and roll. The cup with eyes is an Easter egg. Oh, thanks for clipping that, Fred Bear. So now I know what you're actually talking about. What's the last person you play as at the end of FNAF 1? Schmidt. Peppa Pig style 6 a.m. What? Oh, and Haru, I, if you're still here, my friend, I was listening to that, that noise of the mute thing that I, that you were talking about. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the uh, Resident Evil 3 thing. The, uh, water sample sound effect. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting you are Mike Schmidt's wife in, in Five Nights at Candy's. Aren't you like Rachel Smith? Is that what her name is? Rachel? <laughs> Thank you for choosing Eggs Benedict. Exotic butters. Delightful gift baskets. I always wondered how the gift basket bit the bleh. I always wondered how the gift baskets for cash is docked from your pay. Like he says at the beginning, he says, oh, your, your pay will be docked accordingly for which basket you choose. So what if you choose the cash basket? Do they just give you the cash bas basket with cash they took out of your paycheck with more taxes taken out of it? That'd be a pretty bastard move. A game theory. I know why the office guard room don't have almost protective walls to save you. Hey, I think you're right. Biffed gaskets. Delightful biffed gaskets. I heard 
a motherfucker walking past. Ca <laughs> Thank you for choosing casual boobs. Exotic burgers. Delightful biffed gaskets. What's my view on Five Nights at Candy's 2? It's okay. I mean, it, it's nice. It's it's a it's a nice switch. Like it's it's pretty cool. I find it kind of boring if I'm gonna be completely honest, though. <laughs> Thank you for choosing, ugly teen. <laughs> Poor Michael Afton went through hell <laughs> with that hand unit. I always thought that was a hilarious name, Hand Unit. Is, is unique, I'm, I'm still getting new to this, y'all, so is unique chat, like, unique to the one person, or is it unique to, like, since Fredbear had said it, is that why it wouldn't let you say it? Oh yeah, FNAF 3, or FNAC, FNAC 3 is fantastic. I love Five Nights at Candy's 3. Yeah, Unique Chat is on there, Fredbear. I turned Unique Chat on. I love Pizzeria Simulator. I think Pizzeria Simulator is a fantastic game. Best free game of the franchise for FNAF is Pizzeria Simulator. Welcome back, Melancholy. Hey, now! So that's what I'm thinking, too, there, y'all. Is your friend Richard really into FNAF? I wouldn't say obsessed. I'm not really obsessed. I just like to play the games. Now, the game that I'm obsessed with, Metal Gear Solid. Love that franchise. Huge, huge Metal Gear Solid fan. Stupidly obsessed with Metal Gear Solid. I just like playing the games and chatting with chat with lore about FNAF because it's really... Oh my god, Doctor. Oh, the different version of Splinter Cell. Metal Gear came first. Metal Gear came first. Because, uh, uh, Fred Bear, it's not really my, uh, audience's preference. I'm trying to stick with what my audience likes. And I don't know if my audience would really come together for a Metal Gear Solid run, to be honest. Plus, I seem to be having troubles with uh, doing retro days. As we saw earlier with uh, Super Mario. I'm doing really good on the F2s. If I can get my shit together and find out why I'm not getting my uh, stuff together there, Fredbear, I will definitely play some Metal Gear. I fall. Oh my god. Obsessed! I'm with you, Fennekin. I'm not really obsessed, but I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk with anybody about FNAF. <laughs> Thank you. 
if I had to put it actually into into a poll, like I would say that or into a ranked, I would say I would say that Five Nights at Freddy's franchise would actually come in third on my favorite list. It would go Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil, FNAF. I never played Conviction. I have Conviction, but I never played it. Um, my favorite is definitely Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory for Splinter Cell is fucking fantastic. Fantastic stealth game. I mean, that's that's like the majority for the entire Splinter Cell community, though. Everybody seems to like uh, Chaos Theory the most. Yeah. Everybody's favorite is Chaos Theory. It's just so good. Like, it, it that was peak Splinter Cell. Like, you could choose different routes. You could... I, I think that's what what I like the most about it is like you could choose different routes. The game is never the same two times in a row. I do have to play Conviction. I didn't play a whole lot of Blacklist though. I have Blacklist, but it was it, without uh, Michael Ironside being the voice of uh, Sam Fisher. It didn't feel the same. What's my favorite FNAF character? Springtrap. Hands down, Springtrap. Fennekin, you like Splinter Cell as well, my friend. Hey, hey, hey now. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, Michael Ironside is the original voice of Sam Fisher, and whenever he didn't... I know he was going through a lot of shit whenever Blacklist came out. Like, I think he... I think he got diagnosed with cancer. So, like, Michael Ironside was going through some shit when Blacklist came out. Yeah, I didn't understand that either. But I like how they made him older. And they kind of gave a head nod to Konami kind of fucking up the Metal Gear Solid franchise in uh, Ghost. Uh, not Ghost. Uh, what's that game called? Wildlands. With the Sam Fisher DLC for that. Your favorite's Officer Freddy, is it really? Officer Freddy. I'm just going to shut this because I'm tired of checking on him. Yes, the baby talks about the spring lock suit. Try not to wiggle, though. You're inside something that came from my old pizzeria. I don't think it was ever used, at least not the way it was my old pizzeria. I'm telling you, Fredbear. I'm telling you. What are you doing, asshole? I'm telling you, Fredbear. Security Breach could be first in the series could be first in the series. Nobody can tell me otherwise. I am absolutely sold that Security Breach is going to be very, very beginning of the, of the, uh, I know, blank strain in my power because he's an asshole. Nobody can tell me otherwise until the game comes out about Security Breach possibly being the first one in the franchise. Oh, God. Blank, will you quit being a prick? Attack me already! What if Baby is in Security Breach? It's entirely possible. You don't think, Garlic? Oh, can I take your order? 
But if security breach is early in the story, God damn it, man. That's why I'm thinking, yeah, but she got scrapped at the end of, uh, thank you for fuck's sake. Good morning, HRS. How are you, my friend? I'm still convinced that security breach takes place early in the timeline. I'm I'm convinced. All right, we should be oh. We should be coming up on the end here. All right, so this is the one where I have to deal with uh, eyeless asshole. Somewhat there, HRS. We're kind of having a, a discussion about, um... Fredbear brought up a point about, uh, Spring Bond, uh, the suit that you're in and Security Breach came from her old pizzeria, and then I kind of went on a mini tangent about, uh, how Security Breach, I'm convinced, takes place early in the timeline. A lot of people say, like, but the animatronics look so new. Like, they're so newer looking. Yeah. They also looked newer in secure in uh, Sister Location as well. Sister Location is early in the timeline. No. I'm just, I'm just going by my theory. My own theory. Cindy's there. Hey, no! And now Cindy's not there. There was recently a new FNAF book. Somewhat recently. Totally didn't make Grib Hub. Oh. I knew you were there. I heard you walking. Son of a bitch.
the old dude that helps Aang control his ship. I was I never watched uh The Last Airbender. Oh shit. The GE? Oh no, I didn't beat the GE run yet. I actually haven't tried. I haven't tried there in a minute. Once I got the old, uh, the bad ending back, I was like, eh, I'll wait on the good ending. But I did end up beating uh, the Joy of Creation speed run, HRS. And it was, it. we just kind of, we're just kind of doing this one on a whim. Like we're doing uh, the jo uh, Five Nights at Candy speed run just on a whim. I think I can actually pull it off. I got 45 minutes. Oh, Pengu. 45 minutes and like 49 seconds, I think. Yeah, it was Yao's idea for the uh, for the uh, Five Nights of Candies. Night five, here we go. What are we doing after this? Yeah, sweaty, we're on the last night. All I gotta do is make it now and I think I got it. I think I'm gonna beat it by a minute. If I can pull it off. Forgive me if I, I know the eyeless candy almost got me. So forgive me if I miss some messages, we're on the last night and then we got another speed run in our belt. After this, play Five Nights at Fuckboys. Oh my god. I don't know if I could- Oh! You still there? 
Okay, now you're not. HRS, would you do that to me, my friend? Oh. I don't want to pay for a domain. I, 16, 17, something like that, HRS. Uh-oh. I think this will make either 16 or 17. I'll have to double check. Seventeen after this run? It doesn't look like it though, because with uh, with the restructuring of Five Nights at Freddy's One, it looks like I don't have it. But they actually have the the PS4, what's it called, uh, filter. So thank God that that filter's there, because it looks like I just suck at Five Nights at Freddy's One. I think I have ranked like ninth and se seventh and ninth. Oh, Pengu's here. Fuck. Knew you were coming. Yep, this is the last night. I don't think I'll go for anything higher in Five Nights of Candies. We literally just did this on a whim. Oh yeah, keeping that closed. I'm okay with just getting this. Oh, Pengu. Alfred. <gasps> Hoo-hoo! Doodle was pissed! YOLO, bitches! Nice! 14 FNAF! Uh-oh. I think I would be right around the same there, HRS. I can't wait till you get your computer, man. That's gonna be awesome for you. Do I know what FNAF really stands for? Yeah, I have a general idea there, Garlic. Saga runs are going to be my bitch. I could never do a Saga run. I really couldn't. Those are all yours, HRS.
If we're being fair though, HRS, you're beating my records and I'm just taking them back. <laughs> Wait, did I break one of yours? I'm so glad I was ready for something. We did it. We did it. We got another fucking world record. We beat it by 11 seconds. Yes, sir. Oh, if you do a blacklisted run on Pizzeria Simulator, I'll get crushed. Thank you, HRS. Puppet. Finger puppet. My mistake. A problem. Yeah, thank you, Yao, for the idea. Mary Schmidt, not Rachel Schmidt, Mary Schmidt. Get your hellos into YouTube, everybody. That is another world record. Hey, now. Thank you, Yao, for the idea. Oh, you said Mary. I thought someone said Rachel. What the fuck is up, YouTube? What up and goodbye? <laughs> Iconic, hey now. And who jo who who followed? I missed that. Seven schnicks. Schnicks. Seven. Hey now. Welcome to the community, my friend. And another big old hey now. FNAF <laughs> Five Nights at Fuckboy speedrun. I don't think so. So what game now? Well, we could do Scrutinized, but YouTube. Hey now, Gribbon 1020 as always. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye bye <laughs>